everyone, my name is Yulia and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video I wanted to talk about things that helped me to reduce unnecessary stress around food and also things that helped me to let go of the food restriction. We are going through a lot of stress in our everyday life, we are stressing out about the things that we can't change and also we are stressing out about things that we cannot change. There are so many unknown things right now around the world. We don't know what's going to happen with the economy, we don't know when we are going back to our regular work, uh, we can't know how much time is left for us to enjoy on this earth, we don't know if we're gonna reach specific milestones that we have in our mind or specific goals. There are so many valid things to be stressed about and food should never be one of them. If we already have so many things on our plate at the moment, why would we add up more of those things to be stressed about? All these things that make us stressed, they make us overwhelmed. When I feel extremely overwhelmed or very worried about everything and anything, I ask myself, what is the stress that is invalid and what is the stress that I can let go on the first place? Food should never cause stress. Food is, on the other hand, something that brings us relief, like socializing over pizza or spending time with friends, where over nachos and board games or watching a movie with popcorn or ice cream or both, all of these things make us feel free, inclusive, connected and alive and we should never feel bad for using food as a source of enjoyment because it is. All the nicest memories that we have while socializing with other people are somehow connected or related towards food. So when we stress about food and when we restrict it in a certain way, this food restriction doesn't allow us to enjoy life. All our thoughts are directed towards when we are going to eat next. Can we have an extra slice of pizza right now? Can we have an extra cupcake? And how long are we going to exercise if we have an extra cupcake? Or how many calories are left for us to eat today? All of those thoughts take away life from us. They take away experience, memories and the fun of life. When I look at my own life and when I think about all those things that I'm currently stressed about, why would I want to add the control over what I can eat today or the obsession about macros or calorie counting when other people are enjoying their life, they're treating themselves every single day and they're getting takeouts and they're not thinking that they will have to work out for two hours to burn these extra calories that they consumed during the day. I used to look at these people and I used to admire them and I used to think that this is how the, the life is supposed to go. This is how people are supposed to treat themselves. And I was genuinely happy for these people and I was also jealous because I wanted to do the same thing. But it was a weird reason I decided that I cannot do, I cannot do this. That this is not for me, that, they, that someone else can and I have to work out, I have to have muscles, I have to have abs and that's what's gonna make me happy. And then I just realized at some point that I had so much stress in our life that it started affecting my mental health and my physical health. And I didn't have a choice but to let go at least some of that stress. And the most obvious one was the stress related to food. Because at the end of the day, who cares what we look like or who cares what we eat? People who, uh, who love us don't care about how our body looks like. They care if we are healthy or not. They care about our mental health. And while having this additional stress, especially around things that are not even supposed to cause stress, is extremely, extremely bad for not our mental health, but for our physical health as well. Food used to be a center of my universe. It caused a lot of anxiety and a lot of negative thoughts about myself, about my body. But at the end of the day, food is just food. Food is not good or bad. Food is a neutral thing. Food is something that gives me energy and the ability to perform at my best during the day. But of course, food is also something that gives me a lot of pleasure and fun and enjoyment in life because it's always nice to be able to cook something together with your loved ones and to share it over conversation or to watch a movie with popcorn or to order pizza or sushi and not think about ordering something with the lowest amount of calories and the least amount of flavor. There are two wonderful things that happened to me when I let go of this unnecessary stress around food and the first one is that I had so much extra space in my mind for things that I truly enjoy doing 
like vlogging, writing or reading, before I had this constant thoughts that what I can eat, like all my thoughts were dedicated towards food. And now with this extra space, I can truly enjoy my hobbies. Another wonderful thing that happened to me is that I became so flexible with my life and so flexible with how my day is going to go. Like I can go on on random drives or random hikes without thinking about food and without planning what I'm supposed to eat before, during or after, or how long I can last without food till I eat the next time. Or like going on picnics and barbecues and being able to uh, share the food with other people, being able to join in when they have uh, chips or pretzels or cookies or candies or even muffins and cakes. Now I feel like I'm the part of the community. I don't feel excluded anymore. I feel very inclusive. I feel free. I feel alive. I feel happy. And this is food is something that truly lets me enjoy the life. Obviously, it's not as easy to just let go of the stress around food and just and forget about it. Sometimes it does come back. What I do to help myself cope with this stress is asking myself questions. The first question I ask myself is, how do I want to feel around food? Do I still want food to control my life or do I want to control my own life? Do I want to take my own choices depending on how I feel and what I truly enjoy doing in this life? Another question that I ask myself is, if I could eat anything in the whole world without... Uh, going through the body change, what would it be? And the question itself makes me think that we are so consumed about how our body is going to look like that it's almost ridiculous. No one cares about what we look like. As long as we enjoy the life, as long as we are passionate about who we are, as long as we accept and love ourselves, that's the only thing that matters. This is the only thing that draws people towards us and... This is what makes us us, what makes us alive, what makes us happy. And the last question I ask myself is, if I decide to let go of the stress around food, what benefits it's going to give me? And of course, the first thing I think about is being free with food, uh, being uh, connected to other people, joining in and enjoying life, going on picnics and hikes. All those benefits that freedom around food gives you are uncomparable to any other thoughts about your body type, about how thin you are or how fit you are. Like this extra space that you have in your mind for things that you truly enjoy doing is so, so, so important. And this is what makes you truly happy. There is so much things going on in the world right now. And we honestly, life is too short to be obsessed about food. There are so many things that are happening around the world right now and so many unknown factors and we honestly don't know how long are we supposed to live on this earth. So why would we torture ourselves? Why would we struggle? Why would we try to control what we eat just to for this short amount of time that our life is going to last to look fit or to look uh, thin for not even for our own pleasure but for other people for the outside world our body is just a body our body doesn't define who we are but what we do and how we treat ourselves defines who we are how we treat ourselves also helps us to realize how we treat other people so if we are compassionate and acceptive and loving towards ourselves then we are the same way towards other people When we let ourselves to finally start enjoying food and eat over satiety and whatever, like eat Twizzlers or eat random cookies or random cupcakes, uh, go for a drive and pick up some cake on the way back and also half a dozen of bagels, that is the best memory that you can have. That's the best way to be free and to be connected to the world. So this is all the advantages that I received when I let go of this restaurant food and also the control over food. And I really hope that this video could inspire you and show you that it is possible to be less stressed around food and how many benefits you gain when you let go of the food control and the restriction around food. 
If you would like to know more on how to build strong and positive relationship with yourself, how to be more loving, accepting and appreciating yourself, check out these two videos and don't forget to subscribe, it does help to support my channel. And that being said, I hope you guys have a positive day, a positive week and a positive life and I will talk to you soon. Bye!